First, a major construction project that could impact thousands of drivers. Good evening, everyone. I'm Jameson Euler. And I'm Wendy Ryan. Thanks for joining us. Things got heated tonight over the thought of another proposed toll road in Tampa Bay, forcing drivers to pay up to get from point A to point B. Yeah, but many argue it is necessary. Our Alex Hobson joins us live tonight in Orlando Lakes to explain. Alex? The audience inside here tonight was overwhelmingly opposed to this project, and it sure, certainly didn't take long for those feelings to show. It started off civil. Hundreds of Pasco County residents filled the bleachers at Sun Lake High for a town hall meeting about the elevated toll road proposed for the State Road 5456 corridor. But about an hour in. I would like you to have that opportunity to think on A wave of unrest passed through the crowd. Standing up, cheering each other on, they eventually took over the microphone, demanding to be heard. If this road is built, it will be 2,200 feet from my backyard. I don't want it. Hoping to generate money out of our area for yourselves. And that is not acceptable. The anger in the audience all stems from this, a proposal to build an elevated toll road that would eventually stretch from U.S. 19 to U.S. 301. Supporters say it would help ease the mounting traffic problems facing the area. But opponents like Jason Amerson, who helped start the opposition group Pasco Fiasco, don't want to see it in their backyard. Amerson is one of many already planning to move if it passes. This is not a good thing, no matter how much it's, it's marketed as a good thing. But while county officials said they're open to the feedback, doing nothing just isn't an option. More people are going to move in, and we're going to have transportation issues if we don't at least start planning. We look at the discussions that occurred tonight as, as a good thing. It's a chance for citizens to express their views. And I'm told there will be more options to do so. Several transportation meetings are already in the works. We've gone ahead and posted those details on our website, abcactionnews.com. But I'm told in the end, the Florida Department of Transportation will have the final say on this project. Reporting live in Land O'Lakes, Alex Hobson, ABC Action News.